should address Nigerians on Hesmen Menas, Tolu Adebiye. In case you don't know, Tolu Adebiye is the senator representing Ogun West Senatorial District. Tolu Adebiye has lamented the unfortunate attacks on innocent Nigerians by armed Hesmen and urged the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired to address the nation on the issue. But you and I know that this is not going to be possible. You and I know that, that the president will not talk until the matter gets worse. This is just a system of governance, and it's very bad. If you can recall what happened during the COVID-19 pandemic and also uh, NSAS crisis, you know, he refused to say anything. I, uh, he, 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 he won't want to say anything. I, I don't know why he just decided to uh, pick this kind of style of governance. You get it. I can't just imagine a man you'll be looking at your home family, for example, a man you'll be looking at your home family, sinking, confusion everywhere, crisis. You don't want to say anything because you don't just want to talk. And that makes you not man enough. You understand? If you cannot do anything when your home is on, is on fire, that means you are not man enough to be the head of that home. And that is just what this, this, this is just playing out. He doesn't like addressing Nigerians when there is issues, urgent issues, you know, uh, to attend to. You get it. And the problem is he, he, is, is, he has surrounded himself with the wrong people who will not tell him the truth. Who will, not, who will not tell him the, the real happenings in the, in the nation. And this is very, very bad and very, very unfortunate indeed. So hello, guys. You are welcome to my channel. This is Prospect Channel TV. If you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for this coming out here. God bless you. I do appreciate. Now the, the news reads in detail. Buhari should address Nigerians on Esmen manners. The senator Tolu Adebi told correspondent on Saturday in Abuja that he would have moved this appeal as a motion on the floor for the Senate if the National Assembly was in session. He also urged influential Nigerians to put pressure on the federal government to end the menace. He said the president is the national broadcast should call. Sorry, he said the president in the national broadcast should call for the setting up of an investigative panel to unravel the operations of the headers. He also said Buhari should call for an immediate hit of open gazing and compulsory registration of all headsmen in the country in order to identify the criminal elements among them. Adebiye stressed the need to institute world vigilante groups by the federal government with the support of the Nigerian police. The senator said he sentenced killing, miming, and harassment of innocent citizens, mainly rural dwellers and farmers, are carried out by bandits and airsmen in the country. On December 12, 2020, a farmer owner was reportedly killed by suspected airsmen near his farm along Apodu village in Oyo state. Also on January 23rd, 2021, residents of Ketu speaking villages in Yawe North local government area of Ongu state were brutalized by soldiers who escorted as men to gaze in the communities. There has been constant reports of banditry, kidnappings and killings in Kesi and over 10 other local governments in Oke Ogu and Ibarapa where farmers and innocent rural dwellers were brutalized or killed in their farms or when or why even resting peacefully in their communities. Adebi he said the instance he cited were carried out by criminal elements who unleashed monumental afflictions on innocent villagers and citizens. He said, Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Section 14.2 in the bracket B of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, provides in tab, highly that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of the government. Also, the African Chapter on Human and People's Rights, a legislative which is 
democratic uh, democratic in Nigeria, sorry about that, provides that the state shall ensure the freedom from cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment of individuals in and citizens. The senator said until the president addresses Nigerians on this unfortunate development, the menace, the killing, miming, and assaults being visited on our people will continue. I am therefore calling on the president to address the nation on the de degenerating security situation and call on security agencies to mobilize to the areas of conflict. I am also calling on the federal government to come up with an alternative security framework that would engender a smoother, harder farmers and rural dwellers in relationship. Adebiyi said government should perfect necessary efforts to deploy real-time technology in the management of the country's vast uncovered spaces. He also asked the state government to support rural dwellers and farmers by protecting them against activities of armed men. He said, <laughs> okay, someone said that he will never say anything. He is a combination of deafness, dump, dumpness, crew, <laughs> laziness put together. He will just be holed up in that Asso Rock Palace while Nigerians are dying in dozens every day. I can see he don't even care. Okay, someone said yeah, it is very, very unfortunate to that Senator Adebi is just voicing out. I can see that he is even being very conscious not to mention Fulani Hesmen. He said it is the president's address that can solve the problems. He said he would have moved a motion on it, but the house is not in session. Why a representative like this? Since we are since when has the people we are representing has a senator uh, been terrorized? What a shame. So, hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Leave your comment below the comment section. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Please don't forget to give us thumbs up. Subscribe if you are here for the first time.